Now let's see GIS in agriculture. In agriculture sector, they are using GIS for agriculture mapping, soil analysis, crop information and data combination, land information system shortly known as LIS and assemble information as soil moisture, nutrients, elevation and topography to aid in the production of a map. Store geospatial data and produce maps for the land inventory. Analyze the visualized agricultural environment and increase production by combining all of above information. Now let's see GIS in environmental sector. What I will tell about this already 80% uh, environmental science experts are using GIS in their environmental projects. As example, GIS applications are being used in uh, forest fire management, oil spill and remedial measure, coal mine fire management, wastewater and management, natural resource management, air pollution control, disaster management and many more. Now let's see GIS in urban planning. Uh, what should I tell about this? Because 90% uh, urban planner, if I tell 100% uh, urban planners are using GIS, it's not wrong. So all of urban planners are already using GIS in their urban planning project and different types of project planning, uh, including resource inventory, creating land use maps and plans, planning applications, analyzing socioeconomic and environmental data, land suitability analysis, site selection, uh, measuring connectivity, impact assessment, evaluation, monitoring, and feedback. And in other hand, I am also an urban planner. GIS in geography. As this is GIS, which means geographic information system. So obviously it is being used in geography. It is being used in geographical analysis, geographic survey, environmental analysis, disaster management, watershed, land suitability, land use mapping, and many more sector uh, they are using GIS. So in this way, uh, GIS is being used in all types of sector. GIS can be used in banking sector also. Say a bank want to see their branch location in a web map. Uh, they want to click in their branch and it will open a pop-up window which is uh, showing the profit and loss of that particular branch and they can analyze a suitable site for new branch location and many more in marketing sector GIS can be used for KPI analysis say, uh, which salesperson is doing well and in which zone is uh, give you profit and where you are getting lost so in this in that case GIS can be used in anywhere so now let's see, uh, still now we have talked many things about how to use GIS in many types of sector. Now let's see what is GIS actually. Some of us uh, consider GIS as a tool because they are using a GIS software in their sector, uh, maybe in urban planning or civil engineering or whatever. They are telling, some of them are telling GIS is a tool because they are using a GIS software. Okay, we are using GIS software, say it could be ArcGIS, it could be QGIS, it could be Supermap. We are using a software of a GIS. GIS is a subject, we are using a software of GIS. Say, uh, if you are using SPSS software, which is a software of statistics, will you tell this? Statistics is a tool? No, statistics is a subject, we are using a software of statistics. Same as like GIS, we are using a software of GIS. So don't consider GIS as a tool. It is a subject, we are using a software of a GIS. Okay, if you want to know about more in web GIS and GIS career, if you want to discuss with me, if you need some motivation on your GIS career, you can contact with me in my this website, which is Sharia GIS School. You can Google it and you can find it easily, which web address is shariagis.school. If you need to talk with me, you are most welcome. I am here to give you perfect guideline. So, this is the end uh, of my session. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anyone all. have any uh, doubts or questions? Uh, because we are running out of the time. Yes, sir. I have a question. Sure. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, earlier, you have said that uh, we can use GIS technology in agriculture. Sir, um, can you please guide me to um, how can I use GIS technology to prediction agriculture drought? For this purpose, uh, 
you have learned any gis software before i am telling you yes that? sir which yes, software yes, yes. qgis or arcgis uh, arcgis uh, where you are using this you are collecting data well? you are collecting data you are analysis your crop based analysis say uh, which area is suitable to this type of crop we are analyzing this in agriculture sector right you can analyze this yes Location yeah, yeah. based analysis, location based agricultural development. Before doing this, you need to identify which area is suitable, which area is uh, commonly used for a particular crop, right? So this yes. type of location based information GIS provides us. Understand what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. You are most welcome. So I think uh, there is no such question. So I am really thankful to the Shahriya sir because it's after a long me. run uh, uh, from 2017, uh, we are planning to have a such session, a session <laughs> with him. And within a short span of the time, within 40 minutes, uh, he had uh, covered all the major topics because uh, basically what happened in the uh, early career is such that they only know the ArcGIS. But you have delivered all the things like desktop to WebGIS and QGIS, super map, arcs in difference and all those things. So thank you, sir, once again. And uh, now we need to proceed our next session uh, to our uh, uh, keynote speaker, that is the Subhajit Bandopadhyay. And uh, 